we're going to step in so our toes almost touch his toes. As we do that, we're going to pull and we're going to pull him up and Ray's going to come up on his toes. He's going to come up on his toes on his own. There's a reason for this. It helps him when he falls. Okay? So as, as I go in, he comes up. Now this comes around, now I have him. Now I corkscrew and then I and it becomes effortless. There's no effort on my part. When the person knows how to throw and throw well, it's very easy for the person to take the fall. When they don't know how to throw well, that's when you can get banged up a little bit. Right? Don't fight it. Well, you can fight it. It'll just hurt to grab here, right? I'm going to tell you what to do, okay? So as I step, you go up on your toes. I pick him up here, right? He's up. I have him tight. And throw. Bad. Not bad. How do you feel? Sorry. Okay, now I'll throw you hard. <laughs> so. If you see what I'm doing and the people that are taking the falls, does it feel like there's any effort on my part? Right. So that, that's, that's what you want to strive for. So, so the key is, you can't pull yourself onto him where he's on his heels. See now, how, how am I throwing him this way? Now I would have to throw him this way. Because I put his weight back. So what I want is like, Ray comes in to grab me in a front bear hook to wrap my arms. So that's what he's trying to do, right? So he goes again, do it again. So as Ray comes in and goes to do that, right? I come here and come here, right? Now, see there's space between us, right? But now as I do this and corkscrew, the throws up, and that would be as he attacks. So I would not stop. It would be so. Okay. But here's what we're gonna do. So. We can either start here, or if you want to start here, that's fine, right? What we're going to do is we're going to step. Your feet have to finish in between his feet. So as I step, I step one, I pull him up, I wrap around here. Now, I'm going to turn. As I turn, I'm going to corkscrew and get lower, and I'm going to look over here. Now I'm going to lift Ray up, and I'm going to put him down. Right? So I'm going to lift him up and put him down. This is called the Chipotle. So eventually, I do this, right, it's here, lift, and put them down. So I can do it with some vim and vigor, but we're not going to worry about vim and vigor. We're going to worry about doing it where you can effortlessly pick him up and put him down. That's what we're going to show. Go ahead. Um, does this arm pull at all? Or yeah. It does pull. Yeah, but it pulls him towards you. Okay, so this one pulls towards you, this one just pulls up? Well, it depends on the throw angle. So if I want to get him up, if I want him like this. So, so the idea is, right, you want to get him like this where he feels he has to regain his balance. But before I let him take a step, what do I do? I block, I block him with my hip and throw him. I could block him with my leg and throw him. I can sweep his leg and throw. There's, there's tons of throws. There's over 200 different throws. Okay, it's a lot. All right. So, any questions? Can I, see, can I see it again, please? Yes. Is there a specific place your hip is aiming? Oh, that's a good question. Okay. So, for once, Shariah, it's a good question. Good. Okay. So, so, the crack of my butt. Okay. If I come in on Ray and I square up with him, if I square up with him like this, he can slide around me. He can slide around, step around, thwart my throat. So as I move in and as I come here and I come here, and I do this, you see? See how my one cheek is to the outside yeah. of his leg? Now he can't, he can't step around. I blocked it and it takes a fall. 
See where the hip is? See how easy I lift him up? So it's outside. Yeah, yeah his butt, you gotta try to be outside, blocking. On this throw? Yeah, and the, most of his weight is on that hip. There's nothing on the other hip. For so when, when I throw him, if I don't stop and throw him, I don't feel any weight. No weight. I feel no weight. It's all tiny. It should, if it's work, it's wrong. So in judo, right, both guys are trying to throw. It's a, it's a sport contest. They both know the other guy's going to lie. They try to use judo on, right? When a criminal throws a punch at me or grabs me in a certain way, does the criminal have any idea I'm going to use the throw on him? No. And again, I'm not going to force a throw to work. If it's right there, I'm, I use it. And every time I did, it was beautiful. It worked fantastic, right? So. That's what it is, right? So this is why jiu-jitsu is different than judo, right? It's different than sui jiao, because those are more sporting competitions. This one not interested in sport. We want to end you, right? So again, now, when we're doing these throws, this is the training method. If I was throwing and I wanted to do, finish you completely, I would throw a little different. I would drive you in. And there's some throws that are ridiculously fast, like crazy fast. <laughs> like you, have, like you have no idea. Like you're there one second, and the next second you are being driven into that mat. Taitoshi, Taitoshi, Koshinagi. Well, Koshinagi is not as bad. Taitoshi is real, mm -hmm. real super. So that's called a lot of. It's, it's, it's a good one. Not like the Tai Chi. No, no, it's uh, it's it's different. It's the Taitoshi. When I do that fast, I have to pay off a tall guy. When I do that fast, we are really hit no crazy confidence. Now again, when you're young, you should be able to take the fall. Yeah. But yeah, but that's a hit them out of how you speak. Now you see, Ray knows how to fall. Right. What do you know how to fall? So, again, when you fall, and then Ray also knows if I'm throwing him, he's like, oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you never used to be that way, but yeah. after a while, it did. Now Ray thinks, oh, my God. Well, thank God. Thank God. I thank miss, God. I miss, <laughs> I miss sensei. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Okay. So, you want to try that? Okay. Okay. Very popular.